Hi everyone, my name is Ravi Prakash and welcome to the sixth class of permutation and combination. Okay, so we are discussing very important important questions here in this series. This is question number nine. Question number nine. In how many ways letters of the word elections can be arranged such that vowels occupies odd number of places? Okay, let's solve it. Now vowels occupies odd number of places. Right, very important point here. See, elections is a word. Elections is a word. It comprises. It comprises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Comprises nine letter words, right? So nine letters it comprises, and how many odd places? One, three, five, seven, and nine. So there are five odd places. There are five odd places, right? So there are five odd places here. So the vowels can be occupied only at uh, odd places, right? So how many vowels here? So let's say one, three, five, seven, nine, right? There are five odd places. How many vowels here? Double e, i, and o. There are four vowels here, and they should occupy only at these five places, right? That basically means that in these five places, if four vowels will occupy, that means five this four vowels can be placed in five places in how many ways in how many ways five c four ways right five c four see initially when you're learning from permutation combination and you're not sure uh, so sure of the all the concepts right every time you write some five c four five c three ten c two or any multiplication factorial right always back of the mind that logic should run what is happening right like this if you write okay at five places i can place this four vowels in five c four ways what is those five C four? So five C four basically means there are five places numbered one three five seven nine. So I can make five C four. That means five C four groups of four four letters. That is one three five seven one group, one three five nine one group, three five seven nine one group. Like like this, right? So like this, I can make five C four groups. Like this, I can make five C four groups, right? Of four four things. I can make five C four groups of four four things, right? On on all these four groups. I can place these four vowels in one way and then shuffle it, right? So I can place these four vowels and shuffle it, right? This this should go in the back of the mind, okay? Always initially, right? Now, okay. So five, so these four places can be selected in five C four ways. On these four vowel places, four vowels can be put in how many ways? Four factorial ways, okay? Four can be put in one way and they can be shuffled because they're letters. They can be shuffled at four places in four factorial ways, but e repeats two times, so divided by two factorial, divided by two factorial. Right now, this is done for vowels. This is done for vowels. Now for consonants. Right now for consonants. So there are five consonants now: l, c, t, n, and s. So five consonants at five places. Right. Since there are five odd places, right? So vowels will occupy only four places. So every time one odd place is left for a consonant. So obviously there is no restriction on consonant. So consonant can occupy one of the odd places, right? So including that one odd place and four even place, there are total five places left for consonant. On those five places, consonants can be placed in how many ways? Five factorial. Nothing is repeating, right? So five factorial, right? Let's solve it. This is for consonants. What is five C four? Five C four is equal to five C one, and five C one is equal to five. Right? N C one is equal to N, so five C one is equal to five. So five into factorial four is twenty four. Twenty four by two is twelve. Into what is factorial five? One twenty. What is the answer? Answer is seventy two hundred is the answer for this question. Seventy two hundred is the answer for this question. Right? So it's a good question, right? We are discussing all the good questions sequentially. So it's a good question in this series now. Okay. Now let's move to next question. Okay. So next question is: In how many ways? In how many ways letters of the word arrangement can be arranged such that no two vowels are together? Okay. See. Arrangement is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So arrangement is an eleven letter word, right? It's an eleven letter word, right? So this eleven letter word can be arranged such that no two vowels vowels are together. So this is a this is a very good concept, right? No two vowels together. 
Now understand this concept. When no two things are together, how do we how do we solve it? Right? See, arrangement has got four uh, vowels, double a and uh, double e. Right? Four vowels are there in arrangement, and rest uh, double n and uh, this we can uh, look at this uh, n is occurring two times and r is occurring two times. Right? So double n double r and m g and t again this four vowels and these are the consonants okay in arrangement word so no two vowels are together so what should we do actually for no two vowels together just place all the consonants right place all the consonants n n r r m g t now understand this concept very carefully this is a very good concept so n n r r m g t let's place all these seven consonants together right now in these seven consonants in and around the seven consonants we can form eight places one two three four five six seven eight right there are seven consonants so including both the ends i can form eight places there are six consonants i can form seven places there are ten consonants i can form eleven places right just one more than that so because i have to include both the ends here so why I am including both the ends? Because not necessarily T and N will be at the last. They can be shuffled and they can be in between also, right? So the logic here is, so in between these seven consonants, I can form eight places. Now on these eight places, wherever I can place A, A, E and E like this. I can place A, A, E and E. Or I can place A, A, E and E. My wish, right? So that means on the seven, on these eight places, anywhere I can place this, for four vowels right so my condition is satisfied that no two vowels are together because already there at there is at least one consonant in between them okay so that basically means that no two vowels are together so in how many ways letters of the word arrangement can be arranged such that no two vowels are together so on the eight places on the eight places one two three four five six seven eight on the eight places i can place four vowels in 8c four ways now these four vowels can be shuffled in four factorial ways but these four vowels are not distinct four vowels are not distinct a repeating two times divided by two factorial e repeating two times divided by two factorial right that's it we're done for vowels we are done for vowels right into now for consonants right for consonant this is into right this is one have event is happening after the other that means first vowel is arranged and a consonant will be arranged. It's not like or. It's not like vowel or consonant is arranged. Vowel and a consonant is arranged, right? To form this word. So now for the consonant, there are again out of eight place out of uh, this eight places, uh, we have placed the seven, uh, taken these four places and four factorial by two factorial, we have arranged it for vowels. Now for consonant, there are seven consonants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These seven consonants, can be shuffled on the seven places in seven factorial ways in seven factorial ways okay and these seven consonants are also not distinct any repeating two times are repeating two times so divide by two factorial into two factorial so this is the answer that's it this for consonants this is the answer okay so in how many ways letters of the word arrangement can be arranged such that no two vowels are together so what is the concept if no two vowels are together place all the consonants okay in between and at the ends of the consonants if there are n consonants i can form n plus one places because including both the ends since there are seven consonants i can form eight places on this eight places i can put four vowels in eight c four ways those four vowels can be shuffled at their places in four factorial ways right and since they are not distinct divided by two factorial into two factorial right and then the, those seven consonants can be shuffled at their places in seven factorial ways again they are not const constants so divide by two factorial into two factorial. They are not uh, distinct, right? So they are divided by two factorial into two factorial for n and r. Okay, so it's a good question, right? One more we'll do of similar kind. Similar kind, one more we'll do, right? For no two, you get this concept of no two now. Okay, eight boys and eleven girls are to be seated in a row. Are to be seated in a row in how many ways they can sit 
in how many ways they can set such that no two boys are together no two boys are together okay no two boys are together now now see no two boys are together is a question here so again same thing eight boys and 11 girls are there if no two boys has to be together i'll place all the girls right like in last case if there are no two boys i'll place all the consonants right so you don't need to write all those 11 girls name here or g1 g2 like that right simply you can do if there in the last cons question if there are seven consonants i can form eight places right so if there are 11 girls 11 girls i can simply form 12 places in between and including the ends right for the boys on these 12 places boys can be placed in 12 c eight ways okay they can be shuffled at their places in eight factorial ways that basically means that out of 12 places on whichever uh, eight we can still make eight, uh, groups of eight, eight right if i number those 12, 12, 12 places from 1 to 12 for eight i can make 12 c8 groups of eight, eight places right on those eight place in each group and eight boys set they can be shuffled in eight factorial ways right into eight factorial and then those 11 girls can be uh, shuffled at their places in 11 factorial ways. So this, is, this is the answer 12 c8 into 8 factorial into 11 factorial, right? Simply place all the girls g1, g2, g3, g4, g5, g6, g7, g8, g9, g10, g11. So, in between and including the ends, there, there will be 12 places. At those 12 places, you can form you can place 8 boys such that so obviously no two boys will be together because at least one girl is always there in between, right? This is a question. Okay, I hope it is fine now. Now move to a very good question. Now move to a very good question now. Question 12. Find the find the maximum number of intersection points. Find the maximum number of intersection points of of 12 straight lines. Of 12 straight lines and and 10 circles okay now let's we'll discuss circles in the next question right just for 12 what is the maximum number of straight uh, intersection points of 12 straight lines right then straight lines then we we'll discuss for circles then we'll combine it okay so maximum number of intersection points of 12 straight lines how much it is so see for straight, always for intersection points, see this concept, for intersection points, always go for minimum number of, minimum number of, of uh, in case of lines, lines, in case of circles, circles, right? So minimum case number of lines or circles required, minimum cases of lines required in this case. Okay. So always go to the minimum case. So if, the, if there is line, so what is the minimum number of lines required for having one intersection point, right? So see this concept here at least two lines are required that means line one and line two okay two lines are required to have one intersection point right two lines are required to have one intersection point okay now see line number three if i draw line number three and should intersect both the lines so i, should, I can draw line number three here right let's draw line number three so that line number three will create two intersection point right what is the intersection point first one it is a one and two, right? What is second intersection intersection point of line number two and three? It is the third one of line number one and three. If I draw a fourth intersection line here, fourth line here, that fourth line will be intersecting, right? Intersecting maximum. So intersecting two as well as one as well as three. So this line number four, four, what is the next intersection point here? Four and two. What is the next intersection point here? Four and one. What is the next one here? four and three right so you see what i'm doing here if i'm drawing four lines so i basically counted all the pairs i have counted all the pairs because each pair will give me one intersection points if there are four lines so how many intersection points i can form four c2 right that means every two straight line will give me one intersection point so if there are four points so four c2 lines right every two lines will give me one intersection points 
if there are four lines so i can make four c2 groups of two two lines and when four c2 groups of two lines i can make four c2 group each of two lines i can make and those two lines will in intersect at one point so what is the answer four c2 into one is that is six see six is the answer one two three four five and six if you count manually or manually also manually also answer will be six if you count like this so 4c2 what is 4c2 if there are four straight lines so take the minimum number of lines required to form an intersection point right why because the same region we discussed here right so every two straight line will give me one one intersection point so if there are four lines so how many two how many groups of two lines i can form how many groups of each of two lines i can form 4c2 right and 4c2 into 1 4c2 into 1 because every two straight lines will give me one intersection point so 4c2 into 1 what is the answer answer is 6 therefore if there are 12 straight lines what is the answer so solution for this question is what is the answer if there are 12 straight lines so i can form 12 c2 groups of every two straight lines right so 12 c2 groups of two 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 straight lines okay and each two straight line will intersect at one point so 12 c2 into 1 right that is 12 into 11 by 2 that is 66 so 66 is the answer for this question 66 right yeah, I hope it is clear. This is 66, fine. It is clear. Okay. Next question. Question 13. Find D. Find D. Maximum number of intersection points. Points of. Now we can say following. Of following. Okay. So find the maximum number of intersection points of following. Okay, first part. So limit question 13 now. So question 13. I do it serial wise, it's easier to revise for you also. So find the maximum number of intersection points of the following. Question 13. Let's say for for uh, nine circles. What is the maximum number of intersection points for nine circles? Right. So you can solve it right. What is the answer? See again for nine circles again same thing right? For intersection point always go to minimum k that is minimum number of circles required for creating an intersection point. Okay, so at least two circles are required to create intersection point. This is the maximum case right? Two circles can at maximum meet at two points. Two circles at maximum can meet at two points right? So that means out of nine circles, how many groups of two, uh, how many groups of two, two circles I can make? How many groups of two, two, two circles I can make? I can make nine C2 groups of each of two circles, right? Nine C2 groups, each of two circles. Each group of two circles will intersect at two points. So nine C2 into two is the answer. What is nine C2 into two? Nine into, nine into eight by two, that is 36 into two, that is 72. 72 is the answer for this question. Okay, right. Question 14. What is the find the maximum number of intersection points of the following? So this is now for seven triangles. What is the maximum number of intersection points of seven triangles? See again, if you go to minimum case, minimum number of in this case will go to minimum number of triangles required, right? Minimum number of triangles required. So what is the minimum number of triangles required to form intersection point? Two triangles, two triangles are required, right? And what is the maximum case? So two triangles at maximum can intersect at how many points? Like this, right? So two triangles at maximum can intersect at six points. Six points, right? So two triangles at maximum can intersect at six points. So out of seven triangles, selecting any two triangles in seven C2 ways, right? So I can, I can form seven C2 groups, each group of two triangles, and each group of two triangles will intersect at how many points? Six points. 7c2 into 6 that is 21 into 6 that is what is the answer answer is 126 so 126 is the answer for this question right so always just make it a general rule whenever there is a question for intersection point always go to minimum number of things required right that is minimum number of circles required minimum number of triangles required and to minimum number of case maximize that case maximize that case means Whenever two circles intersect, maximum number of intersection point of two circles, right? Two circles can intersect like this also. But I won't take this case, right? Because 
in this case it is not maximum two triangles can intersect like this also so it is not maximum right only two decision points what is the maximum always maximize this case what is the maximum case here six points so maximum case is six points right so what is the answer answer is 7c2 into 6 selecting any two triangles and any two triangles will intersect at maximum six points so 7c2 into 6 is 126 okay okay now next question find the maximum number of intersection point find the maximum number of intersection points of of 12 circles and 15 straight lines 12 circles and 15 straight lines what is the maximum number of intersection points of 12 circles and 15 straight lines right so this is we are discussing geometrical application of pnc geometrical application right in geometry these questions can be asked right so see it's quite easy now to maximize see what is the maximum case so maximum case is always like suppose i take example of two circles and two triangles sorry two circles and two lines right so two circles are like this and two lines are like this so is, is it the maximum case of intersection of two circles and two lines no maximum case will be like this two circles and then two lines right this is a maximum case so circles within them should intersect at maximum number of points straight lines also should intersect within themselves at maximum number of point and then circles and line also should insert intersect at maximum number of point right so here will be three well, three cases here right first case what is the maximum number of intersection point for 12 circles for 12 circles how many points you discuss it right I can make 12 C2 groups of two circles each and every two circle will intersect at two points, right? 12 C2 into 2. That is 12 into ln by 2. 66 into 2 is 132. Okay. Second case, what is the maximum number of intersection point of 15 straight lines? So 15 straight lines. I can make 15 C2 groups of every two straight line and every two straight line will meet at one point. Will intersect at one point, right? What is 15 C2? 15 into 14 by 2 that is 15 into 7 that is 105 third third is now for 12 circles and 15 straight lines now 12 circles and 15 straight lines now okay what is 12 circles and 15 straight line so now again what is the minimum case so again same fundamental will be same right for this intersection points always go to minimum case and then maximize it I mean go to minimum case and then maximize it right so for 12 circles and 15 straight line, what is the minimum case? So for circle in a straight line, one circle and one line will intersect at maximum two points. One circle and one line will intersect at maximum two points. So out of 12 circles, one circle can be selected in 12 C1 ways. Out of 15 straight lines, one straight line can be selected in 15 C1 A ways. And one circle and one straight line will intersect at two points. So two points, right? Out of 12 circles, one circle can be selected in 12 C1 ways and and means multiplication. Out of 15 straight lines, one straight line can be selected in 15 C1 ways and one, fifth, one circle and one straight line will intersect at two points. So 12 into 15 is 180, 180 into 2 is 360. So 360 is the answer for third case, right? So what is the answer? Answer will be this plus this plus this, right? Because because we have to maximize it. So maximize means what? Circles within themselves will intersect at maximum number of points. That is 132. Plus lines within themselves will intersect at maximum number of, number of points. That is 105. And circles and straight lines within themselves will intersect at maximum number of points. That is 360. What is the answer here? 237 plus 360. That is uh, 597. That is 597. So 597 is the answer for this super duper question very nice question okay i hope it is clear right i hope it is clear okay this was question number 15 this was question number 15 right so we'll discuss the next concepts in next next videos thank you